We are here on Broad Street by the intersection with Harrison. This is right by the ABC store that was looted last night. The shelves are completely clear here. Now behind me, you can see there is a large police presence here. We just happened upon this when we got here. Um, there were a couple of paddy wagons here and then there was some sort of medical emergency involving somebody inside of one of those paddy wagons. The police um, opened it up. That person fell onto the ground and ultimately an ambulance came and um, took them away. In the meantime, a bunch more members of law enforcement have showed up here. Here we see some more members. Uh, Todd, my photographer, if you could pan over here, you can see a couple of more um, heavily armed members of law enforcement. We have heard sirens. We have heard tear gas being deployed since we've been here. And that's really the story of the night. Um, this is the night where the curfew went into effect and so police officers were able to take action um, on these protesters after 8 p.m. because by law, really, they are not allowed to be out here right now. So what you're about to hear is my version of what we witnessed earlier this evening. We caught up with the protesters as they moved past the Jefferson Hotel downtown. At that point, the crowd was maybe 100 and police were not following them. By the time we saw them again, rounding the corner onto Broad Street by City Hall, the crowd had doubled in size and police were streaming in behind them. That's when police started using the megaphone and telling them they were out past curfew and needed to go home. Police then deployed tear gas twice. We even felt it from a couple of blocks back. It burned our eyes. I've honestly never seen so many police officers in one place before. They streamed down Broad Street, blocking off streets, holding weapons and shields and batons. The air felt tense. People looked tense. We saw five people get arrested. At one point, a Richmond police officer rounded the corner in the passenger seat of a police SUV and stuck mace out the window right at us, screaming, leave. leave. The crowd then split up into two as people kept streaming downtown. Some holding long sticks that appeared to be torches. What keeps happening is everything seems very calm and then suddenly things flare up and law enforcement comes flying in and there's a bunch of sirens and then you might hear that tear gas. So these things are popping up all over the city. I know my colleague Cam Thompson uh, is another place in the city right now and he did not feel safe at that moment due to what was going on in that location to go on air. And so they are moving to a no new location. And once he gets to somewhere safe, you will hear from him. Working for you.